The James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most advanced eye in the cosmos, has captured something extraordinary, mysterious glows shining from a world just beyond our reach. These faint but persistent lights appear on Proxima Centauri b, an exoplanet orbiting the closest star to our Sun, only about four light years away. And they are raising one of the most profound questions in history. Could this be the first artificial light ever detected from an alien civilization? At first glance, it sounds like pure science fiction. But the data is real. During its infrared observations of Proxima b, Webb detected repeated pulses of light that seemed too regular, too rhythmic, and too deliberate to be explained by natural causes alone. Unlike auroras, volcanic eruptions, or lightning storms, which tend to scatter and fluctuate in chaotic ways, these signals bear a structure. Their consistency suggests something designed, something intentional. For decades, astronomers have speculated about Proxima b, orbiting within the so-called habitable zone of its star. The planet has always been one of the most promising candidates for life beyond Earth. Temperatures could allow liquid water to exist on its surface, and where there is water, there could be life. Yet speculation has rarely gone beyond faint hopes and theoretical models. What Webb has detected is different. It's not just a hint of biology. It's something far more tantalizing. Light shining in a way that resembles city-like illumination across the dark side of an alien world. To understand why this is so significant, we need to look at the nature of Proxima b. Unlike Earth, which spins on its axis and distributes daylight across the globe, Proxima b is believed to be tidally locked. One hemisphere always faces its star in unending daylight, while the other remains trapped in eternal night. If life evolved there, particularly intelligent life, it would have been forced to adapt to an unforgiving environment. The night side, however, could be a sanctuary shielded from the harsh radiation storms of the parent star. But to thrive there, a civilization would almost certainly need artificial light. That's exactly what Webb's data hints at. Faint yet consistent infrared emissions appear to originate from the planet's dark hemisphere. These aren't brief flashes or scattered bursts. They persist in a steady rhythm, changing in brightness in ways that are strangely reminiscent of how city lights on Earth glow and dim with human activity. Viewed from space, Earth's night side shows sprawling clusters of illumination, connected by faint threads of light that pulse and shift with our power consumption. Could Proxima b be showing us something similar? Astronomers like David Kipping of Columbia University have spoken with cautious optimism. He notes that this does not look like random background noise. Instead, the signals beg for further investigation. The phrase, artificial illumination, isn't one scientists use lightly. Yet more and more researchers are beginning to acknowledge that what Webb has seen might be just that. The star Proxima Centauri complicates matters further. As a red dwarf, it is much smaller and cooler than our Sun, but far more violent. Red dwarfs regularly unleash powerful solar flares, which can strip away a planet's atmosphere and bathe its surface in radiation. If Proxima b still retains a dense atmosphere capable of shielding life, it would already be a planetary survivor against immense odds. That alone would make it remarkable. But if it also harbors a technological society advanced enough to light up its world, the implications would be staggering. This is where atmospheric analysis becomes critical. One of Webb's most powerful tools is its ability to break down starlight that filters through a planet's atmosphere. Different gases absorb light in unique ways, leaving chemical fingerprints behind. On Proxima b, Webb has found unusual ratios, particularly high levels of methane without the expected amounts of carbon monoxide. On Earth, methane is mostly produced by biological organisms and industrial activity. If such a chemical imbalance exists on Proxima b, it suggests either a biosphere at work or technological processes reshaping the atmosphere. And the mystery deepens when you consider other possibilities. Perhaps the lights are not cities at all, but instead intentional signals. Imagine a civilization attempting to announce itself to the cosmos, using light pulses instead of radio waves. For decades, humanity has searched for extraterrestrial messages in the form of radio transmissions through the SETI program. 
But what if alien civilizations have long since moved beyond radio, choosing instead to communicate with lasers, directed energy beams, or rhythmic light pulses? Webb's detection might be our first encounter with such an interstellar beacon. Some scientists have even speculated that what we're seeing could be megastructures, massive artificial satellites, orbital reflectors, or solar arrays designed to illuminate the dark side of the planet. On a tidally locked world, such engineering projects would make sense. Imagine giant mirrors in orbit, catching the star's light and redirecting it to warm the frozen hemisphere below. Or enormous solar collectors, beaming energy down to subterranean cities hidden beneath the surface. Such technology would be beyond anything humanity has yet achieved, but it would fit the patterns Webb is observing. Of course, skepticism is essential. Natural explanations must always be considered first. Could these lights be caused by volcanic activity, glowing minerals, or geothermal vents? Possibly. But those processes tend to produce chaotic, irregular bursts of light. What Webb has observed looks orderly, repeating, and consistent. It bears the signature of something designed, something operating according to a system. The challenge of making such detections cannot be overstated. Proxima Centauri outshines Proxima B by billions of times. To glimpse the planet's faint glow, Webb relied on a coronagraph, a device that blocks out starlight and allows dim planetary light to be studied. This technology is pushing the limits of what is possible. Future telescopes, such as NASA's planned Habitable Worlds Observatory, will go even further, with instruments designed specifically to image Earth-like planets around other stars. Another concept, known as a starshade, involves a massive flower-shaped spacecraft flying tens of thousands of kilometers ahead of a telescope, casting a shadow to block starlight so the planet can be directly observed. Even ground-based observatories are preparing to join the search. The extremely large telescope, currently under construction in Chile, will use adaptive optics to cancel out atmospheric distortion, giving it unprecedented clarity. Once operational, it could help confirm whether Webb's observations of Proxima B's strange glows are truly artificial or just an unfamiliar natural phenomenon. But imagine for a moment that they are real. Imagine that just 4.24 light years away, a civilization has built cities, powered industries, and filled the night side of their planet with light. The implications would be almost impossible to measure. Humanity would no longer wonder if we are alone, we would know. And not only that, but our cosmic neighbors would be close, in galactic terms. They might be aware of us already, watching Earth with their own telescopes, just as we are watching them. The philosophical consequences are just as profound as the scientific ones. Would this discovery unite humanity in a shared sense of cosmic kinship, or would it spark fear and rivalry? Would we see them as potential allies, trading knowledge across the stars, or as competitors in the struggle for survival? The answers are unknown, but the questions themselves reshape how we think about our place in the universe. Skeptics urge caution, and they are right to do so. Science requires patience and evidence. Webb's findings must be confirmed by multiple independent observations, from different instruments and angles. Future missions will need to scan Proxima B with deeper infrared studies, broader atmospheric analyses, and perhaps even direct imaging. Only then can we begin to understand what these lights truly are. Yet regardless of the outcome, this moment marks a turning point. The universe is no longer just a distant expanse of stars and silence. It is a place where strange glows on a nearby world can spark global debate and ignite humanity's imagination. If the lights of Proxima B turn out to be artificial, then an alien civilization may have already whispered across the void. We are here. And even if they are not, the mere possibility reminds us of the vast potential still waiting in the cosmos. The story of Proxima B is not just about one planet. It is about us, our search for connection, and the realization that the universe might be far more alive than we ever dared to believe.